Aloha! This is the Green Lighting Mr. T, and welcome back to more Paper Mario Master Quest. Last episode, we saved the final Yoshi. We got, we met a good amount of new enemies from the forest. This episode, we're gonna go and try and get to Raphael the Raven and see if there's even more new enemies for me to, to worry about. I know, like, that you start meeting, like, enemies that have magic Koopas, like, as part of their, you know, bunch of enemies. So I, I wonder, like, are we gonna also get that, or are we gonna get souped up enemies? There's you. <sighs> there we go. Okay, <laughs> a little bit of everything. Hmm. Hmm. I think we just do a power quake that'll flip the spiky guy over. And I can probably figure out something for the other enemies. I don't think it's... Is it worth it just to blow it up? Probably. It won't take out... the spiny beetle, or whatever you want to call it. But, uh... It'll buy me time. Okay. Yeah. So, we're gonna refresh. And then we'll take it out the rest of the way using Watt. And that sounds like a plan. That should get me, like, out of this battle mostly unscathed. Okay, pretty happy with that fight. I'm still resorting to blowing everything up, but it's working. As long as we get a refresh in there. Okay. I wonder if there will be extra alcoves or some weird other path, like a new area introduced. Because that's happened. Oh my god! Ah! I don't like... Okay, like, it's like two enemies, sure, I'll, I'll manage two enemies. Mm. I do it like this. I can save on FP, although saving on FP is not the biggest of issues. Dang it. I actually would have been coming out of this battle pretty unscathed if I had gotten that guard off, actually. Because now I can just do the same thing as last turn. So, like, blocking there would have saved me, like, five health. Pretty nice. Something... I don't know. I think I'd just start taking them out normally. I mean, you're just gonna get your health back if I attack you? I guess I'd take the blooper. 
shoot. Now do I have to blow everything up anyways? I'm not gonna die this turn, am I? Seems weird to be doing this on a second turn, but ugh. And you know what's gonna happen now is that they're gonna multiply again, and the, the multiplied guys are not gonna have the status ailment. Because of course. But at least I can take the bloober out next turn. And then I can try and take out of all the fuzzies at once. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that did literally did the trick. Okay. I kind of need to take a turn off to take care of the blooper first. But the uh, fuzzies are harmless. Man, they suck really fast. I think they're sucking faster than they normally would. Okay. Okay, let's do it this way. That way, instead of using six flower points, um, I'm using one, then one, then one, which is certainly a lot less. So that means I'm using three flower points instead of six. Pretty good deal if I say so myself. Okay. I think that means I take him out right now, though. I just don't want him to start multiplying again or anything of that ilk. I just want to, I want the fight to be done. And then, you know, hopefully one of these other setups is easier to manage. I would not call this easier to manage. <laughs> also, uh, hmm. Okay, I think I, I just blow, blow up and then we just have the Medi guy and then it's the usual. Okay. Ooh, how lovely. Might even get another level up before I make it to the volcano. Ah, I didn't get a spin jump in. Oh well. Okay, now I can do this puzzle.
Okay. I, th you know, I can just duck out and then I don't have to fight them, right? Sweet, I can get all my health back. Is there normally a star piece panel in this area? Okay. <laughs> That's not the enemy I was expecting to see over there. Well, I've got my... I've got my quake and we're already ready to go. I wonder if Watt can touch these enemies. This is a dark bristle. There are large rock creatures older than time itself. Immune to fire and explosion covered in spites. Yep. Hmm. So... So I can do four and then four, except you got, you're gonna heal him, which is super annoying. Probably take him out like with Starstorm immediately followed by Screech. Hmm. Fortunately, I had to get the tattle in. And if I use Chill Out, I can't then use Starstorm plus whatever. Anyways, I think it's... it'll make the fight longer, of course, not being able to just instantly take him out, but it'll do the job in the long run. Plus, even on their death blow, they should, like, not hit as hard. You're joking. What?! Since when could they do that? Um, like, this is really bad. This is so fr this is frustratingly bad. So literally you just got a lucky status ailments. I had no idea you would do that. Uh <laughs> like, any damage I do is just gonna get healed. So, like, that... I don't have anything to do! I mean, I can boost my attack power for when I wake up? But, like, I don't need to... You know what? I can focus. I can do this. All right, it's at least something. Right, I can't defend any of this.
Oh my god. What did... <sighs> and now they're... Okay. <sighs> but that's like all I can do for myself. And I'm dead. Well, nope, I'm still dead because <laughs> they're just dumb. The thing can hit you even if you're invisible. I literally can't do anything. <sighs> what an evil setup. I have so. S and the worst part is, I had, like, I gonna have to fight all those fuzzies again. Oh my god, there's a lot to get back here. <sighs> well, let's die while being invisible. Why not? <laughs> well, that's a new look. <sighs> okay. So, first turn is taking out the remedy guy. If, I, if I'd known that... Well, even so, like, it's like the f one time I've failed to time the thing, and then it happened. Like, it didn't happen any of the other times. I'm annoyed, but, like, Okay, if that's what you do, that's what you do, and it's not, I didn't play around it. So I will meet you guys back there. After much trepidation. Is that even a word? So, I am back. Um, I got hit by one of those um, Remedy guys again. And it was the only enemy on the screen left. I killed all the other enemies. And I, well, I was basically at full health. And I almost died. A single Remedy guy can almost came so close to killing me from full health because it just ends up it just unlocks you basically 
and your partners can't defeat the enemy because it regains all its health. The most, like, the most damage I can output is with Gumbario after charge, and that's eight damage. And then it just heals it away, all away. And I can, like, it heals for seven? So, like, my other strongest attack would be with Paracarry or, or Sushi's Squirt. Like, you can't defeat it without Mario helping. <laughs> so, I was, I was just, like, trying, <laughs> all I could do is try to stun it, and, like, it wasn't stunning, and it was so dreary and dreadful. And it's a single enemy! It's so dumb! Anyways, I managed to survive. Decided I better go heal. Because it was either that or use an item. And I felt like, because, like, once you remove the rock, it stays removed, I might as well just go back, heal up, deal with items a little bit. And then just get a save in. But, like, that's, that was so bad. I am terrified of these enemies now. Because I know they can just kill me instantly. So, we're going to take down the Remedy guy first. Since I can know I can actually do it. I don't know what it was that got me thinking I couldn't do this. Somehow, I did that and like Don didn't get enough damage at some point. And ever since, I've, it's put the fear in me. Another thing I want to comment on is the fact that, like, because, like, using the Star Storm once caused the game to crash, and I knew it was consistently do it, it's put the fear in me any time I use a star power now, which is just really uncomfortable. So that kind of just sucks that that happened, but it only ever happened with that battle. I know it's crashed one other time, but I don't think it had to do anything to do with using a Star Spirit. It just crashed because it crashed, and I don't know why. And I don't remember much else about it. Anyways. Yep, yeah, these are all... We've done these guys, we're familiar with them now. Now we just gotta defeat them. And I can just do two power quakes to get there. Yeah, and my goal is just to defeat these enemies, because I think this is the last, like, challenge that awaits us. After this, um, we're at the tree. I am pulling out all the stops to reduce damage. And I'm not worrying about anything else. And there's nothing else I can do. Okay, now I get my level up, as predicted from earlier. Yep, and I can't increase BP anymore, it is at max. So now the question is, what do I want to do? In essence, it doesn't truly matter which one of these I do, because I've got... Because I've got stuff already into using my HP pluses and stuff. So, I mean, I guess I just go HP, FP, and just alternate. And anytime I need to get additional... Um, stuff, I can just use the badge points for it. Hmm. Do I want to swap something off now? Probably. I don't need 30. 
I mean, I kind of, like, at this point in the game, I, need, I should have beef, like, 30 health. That's my understanding right now. And if I go lower than that, I put myself in deep danger. So... I can do something else right now. I don't know. <sighs> so the all or nothing isn't really great. I mean, we're about to go into this thing, so I could get, go for ice power. I mean, I don't need the spiky shields because I just flipped enemies over and then that's that. And I've got hammer throw if I get a flying spiked enemy for whatever reason. Okay. I mean, that should be good. And there's nothing else I'm, like, losing out on at the moment that I wish I had equipped. Yeah, alright. Indeed, here we are at the tree. Okay. Well, up we go. And anyway, we listen to one of my basically my favorite soundtrack from this game. Okay. Enough, li enough listening to music. Alright. Yep, are you gonna s tell me anything different or is this a regular story? Huh? Nope, 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 nope. I'm not ready for this. Nope, nope. Ah! I did not say this coming. I've been blind. Okay. I am not prepared in the least for this fight, but now I know it's a fight, so I can prepare for it. Probably next time, probably not now. I'll do my best, but I don't know what to expect right now. Ah! That's so much health, and that attack alone did so much damage already. Am I prepared to do this? I mean, I just hit as hard as I can, right? I feel like I, this is probably just wise. Get a wire block going. Especially if the attacks are multi-hit based. One more. And then I heal next round. And it's a mat. Oh, right. That's right. Doesn't he get mad or something halfway through the fight? Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Okay, I think that's just has that's going to be a taste of what I've got to deal with next episode because yeah, I am 
I was expecting just to go up to the tree, top of the tree, talk to Ra Raphael the Raven, and then proceed to end the episode, but uh, nope. He's a boss fight, that's amazing. Okay. Well. Next time we fight Raphael the Raven, oh my gosh. This has been the Green Lighting Mr. T. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I look forward to the next episode. Just a giant health pool and a just a test of endurance. Aloha!